In the spotlight, amid long queues at theatres and a box office triumph, emerges Christopher Nolan's latest masterpiece, Oppenheimer. In a remarkable span of just three weeks, the film has shattered records, amassing an astonishing $500 million in global ticket sales. Nolan delves into the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, notoriously known as the father of the atomic bomb. Responsible for building the world's first atomic bombs, his creation led to the devastating loss of approximately 200,000 lives and the obliteration of the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The film, however, notably lacks Japanese perspectives. Released just before the 78th anniversary of the bombings, critics are divided between those who have described the movie as a glorification of mass murder and others who view it as a mere biopic. Historians have told Doha News that the film missed a vital opportunity in shedding light on the experiences of survivors, known as the Hibaksha, by incorporating their voices into the narrative. Saud Khalaf, a Iraqi British filmmaker, believes the film was, quote, an engrossing work of propaganda for war. Khalaf's homeland has endured its own painful legacy due to the actions of the U.S., notably in Fallujah during 2004. The use of phosphorus by U.S. Marines has left a lasting scar on the city, causing tragic consequences, including severe birth defects. While the central figure of Oppenheimer continues to stir global discourse, ethical questions remain at the forefront of discussions concerning Nolan's creation.